this video today for two reasons. I've been liking bullet journaling, so just sharing what I've learned. And I'm new to YouTube, so I want to practice filming and editing and doing the whole process. The future log, this is how I'm planning my year. It just has the entire year written out, and then I write anything that's going to be coming up. So like birthdays, anniversaries, holidays, things that I would like to know in advance so that I don't forget about them or don't have to be thinking about them all the time. Like our five year anniversary coming up, it's just already written down. So I won't forget for like long weekends and holidays that I never remember until like the week of. And mom brain's totally real. I have two kids under two. I totally forget so much more often than I ever did before. So writing things down is now a must. There are people that use the monthly spread. They write down like every little date in the little box. And I actually don't find that as useful for me. What I found useful is writing down the days and then the days of the week next to it. And then I can add any events I already have into the log. So like this month we're going to a mountain villa. Um, we're having three days away from the kids, which will be the longest time with the two of them. So I just have it written down on this log. And I will reference back to the future log so I know like, oh, these things are coming up. Let's put them down. Then indexing. Indexing is probably my favorite part about bullet journaling because it actually allows me to reference and utilize my journal. So every time you start a new page, you're going to put a heading of what it is, and then you're going to put a page number as well, and then add it to your index. And then when you're looking for something, you already know it's on a certain page, and then you just go to that page. What is also super useful is once that page is full, you can just write the next page. So like, let's say you have your reading list on page 26, and then you fill out your journal doing other things, and your next page is page 40. You can write 26 comma 40. That way you have everything in one journal in one place. Instead of having like a million journals, one for your reading list, one for your meal planning, one for all the different things, I love that it's all consolidated into one. A bonus tip is if you're wanting to get started, either read the book or just watch one of those quick summaries on YouTube. Find a no bleed through notebook. I found mine at Michael's. And a good pen's kind of nice. I like the Paper Mate Flare. It's just like one of my favorites. Start super simple. Simplify it ridiculously. You're honestly probably not going to follow along if you have like a million things to do. I know lots of people that love to track all their habits. So tracking like every single workout and every single time you drink a glass of water, and every single time you meditate. And although that can be good, it can be a little bit overwhelming. Thank you so much for spending some time with me. As I mentioned before, I am new here. So if you have any constructive feedback, just feel free to leave it in the comments below. And if you want to follow along with me, I'll be posting videos twice a week. Monday will be videos on minimalism. Minimalism is something that's helped our family a ton. I've been doing it for about a year and I love how it's made our house easier to clean. It's become less overwhelming to like do things and be able to spend more time with the family. And Thursdays, I'll be posting things I want to share. So whether it's things like this that I'm learning, if it's family adventures, uh, we're going, hopefully, going to go camping with two kids under two winter camping here in Canada. So I'm really excited. And then just any other fun things. So a big thumbs up is the best compliment. And I appreciate you guys for watching. Thanks.